JD here, Till Olympus, and we are back on F1 2021 as always. And we are continuing our Hot Lap and Serp series. This time arriving at Zandvoort, which I've been very much looking forward to. I fell in love with this track on the last game. I've been doing quite a lot in 5 lappers and 25% online. But now we arrive at the TT and I feel this is a real driver's track. I just love how it flows and I'm really excited to actually see it this year in Formula 1, hopefully if we do get it. But as always, we are going to gloss over the lap first and then we are going to dissect it in detail. This is not the way to start the lap. You want to use that curbing, the banking, but you don't want to be glazing the wall because you can see that going to turn 1, we're already a quarter of a tenth down, which really does make a difference. You need every bit of time as possible. And with this Serpent running here today, it's very similar in the mindset I have for other tracks. I try and make the setups, especially for this series, to be very usable online. And the number one setup is very good around here. I believe you can go faster with it. I just feel online, it's just gonna slide around too much and be too twitchy. Whereas with my setup here, it's a pretty much a evolution of my hungry one. It's extremely good over the curbs. It doesn't slide around uh, at all. Traction is amazing. Really good downforce. It could be a bit pointier, but as I said, in a race situation, when the tire wear kicks in, the tire temps, which is definitely a factor around here, I feel this is pretty much a perfect uh, balance. And I was really, really happy with this setup. And with the lap itself, could have been a bit quicker especially going through into that turn one and a little bit in the last sector as well. So I think this would have been quick enough. This step is definitely quick enough to get the world record. You can see we are just over a tenth down, but to be this close again, as always, and having this focus on the race, I'm extremely happy with this. So going to this turn one, you can see if we had a bit of a better exit onto this home straight, we would have been the same delta, but just before the 50 meter ball, that's where you want to be turning in. You could really throw a lot of speed into this corner due to the banking of it, but stay nice and tight, short shift into fourth gear to maximize that traction. Now going to just before the 50 meter ball, that's when you'll be turning in. Make sure you miss this curb. Cannot stress enough that you want to be as close as you can, but don't hit it, otherwise it will auto spin you. Some people take a wide line into here. I like to stay uh, very aggressive and tight to the corner, let the banking do the work. Once the wheel is straight, that's when we're going full throttle. I try and make up all the time on the way in rather than the exit going through here. Thread the car through these corners and coming up into this one. This is really about feeling, but as you pass the Pirelli sign, that's where you want to be turning in. Stay as tight and as close to that curb again without touching it as possible. Now going through into here, just before the 50 meter board turning in, make sure pretty much the same as turn two or three. As close as you can but don't actually hit it do not run on this exit curb if you put a wheel on this here then you are just going straight on automatically locking up as the 50 meter ball passes a little dab on the brakes carry as much speed as you can use all of the track on the exit then drag it aim for that 50 meter board and then that's when you want to be turning it in go down to third gear but not completely necessary stay tight on this exit here don't let it drift out too wide too early and then get a nice exit now going to this on a very very crucial corner as you hit the curb that's where you want to be braking and then going to it you have to take this curb but only half the car you do not want to take any more than this make sure you're turning at more than 45 degrees because then it will flick you around very nicely stay nice and tight to this curb again don't let it drift out too out wide and then once the wheel is straight, that's when it will be going on the full throttle. Now it's here, a very crucial corner once again. Really, just after the 50 meter boards, when it will be a slight dab on the brakes and then turning in, going to aim for quite a late apex, and then go on full throttle, run on this curb, stay nice and tight to this right hand side. I cannot stress how important that is because that really does make up a lot of time. And we come across the line as an 8.5. And honestly, we got up to speed very quickly once again. The setup just felt great straight away. And you can see the servers aren't currently working, which was a bit annoying, but that was enough for P4 on the grid. Lost most of my time really in that first sector. A Chandler's using 1110. Um, so, you know, if you use that online, you could put it to 1010, but then you wouldn't have the downforce. 
I'm using a very high off throttle um, just to avoid that over rotation. The geometry is exactly the same, I believe, as Hungry. What just works very well around here. This one, 2.7, so a little bit more rotation from the rear suspension, but two, just to make sure it doesn't over rotate. 2.9, 2.7, 2.7 ride height as always. And then we move on to the brakes themselves as 156, pretty much the norm. And I think the tire pressures are the same as Hungry as well. So this setup here, I feel just works incredibly well. You can go faster if you went to like 11.10. It'd be a bit pointier. That's why I lose most of the time in the first sector, but you actually need the traction in the middle and last. And as I said, in a race situation, you need stability around here as well, because if once you overheat your tires, it's very, very hard to recover afterwards. So I hope you've been enjoying these setups. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. It's been absolutely amazing as always. And you can see the lap times. We were doing sixes all the time. That's what I feel is a good setup for me, where I'm consistently being able to do that lap time over and over again. If we hooked it up fully, I think we could definitely get a mid four or even better than that. You can see our theoretical is a 0 0.520 as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you soon. Peace.